So over there, this little, we're going just down there, that's Amio, which is a nice little town we're going to stop at and probably fuel up. It's hard to tell, but right over the back there, in a bit of cloud, that's Mount Kosciuszko, which is the highest mountain in Australia. It's a bit hard to see from here, but uh, what a view. There's hope for the rest of us. <laughs> can, I, can I talk to you for one second? Is that okay? Yeah. So here we are with Judy. And oh. Judy's travelling. She's brought herself a camper van, which that bloke just pulled in front of. Um, and uh, like I keep saying, you need to get off the couch. This is the very point I'm trying to make. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. And how, long you, how long have you had the camper van for? Just before Christmas I bought it and I've been out a couple of times on weekends and that around Canberra but this is my first big trip and boy am I really testing that vehicle on these mountains, on these hills. <laughs> well like I always say guys you know you've got to get out and get amongst it and there is seriously no excuse like just get out whatever it's a motorbike, camper van, car, whatever you do get out and it is such a beautiful country that we live in absolutely and we seriously need to get out and look at it because everybody goes overseas but we don't have a look here but uh, you get to see the country you get to see the different people and meet different people I've you know it's fantastic yeah no fantastic, fantastic. and yeah. thank you very much for that I appreciate it that's all right thank great. you and that boys and girls is what it's all about here we go we've made it into Omeo another ripper town and this one was all built on, uh, on gold prospecting, I think, originally. Gold mining. Now it's a place, you know, people come up here for all sorts of things, you know, bushwalking, mountain bike riding, motorbike riding. Another place, stay here for uh, the winter and you know, for accommodation to go up in the snow fields. Heaps of bikes up here at the moment, heaps of bikes. Just gonna pull over and get some fuel. She will hold my hand when I'm walking down the street and I'm on my knees and I'm begging you. So we've made it to the Blue Duck Inn. Here we are, which is halfway between Amio and Mitter. Lovely little pub. Let's go and have a look. Look at this. How cool is that? What did you just say? <laughs> got to get off that? Just got to get off that couch. <laughs> like how many pubs would you come to, seriously, that look like this and have these sort of grounds around them? Like have a look at it. You know what this reminds me of, Paul? What's that? We were in Thailand. 
Yes. You had the uh, restaurant in the yeah, river. Yeah, in the river, yeah. That's just what that reminded me of. Have a look at this. So you know if they're making smoked trout in the pub there, it's going to be pretty bloody fresh. Yeah. I'll show you this down here, have a look at this. Not too many pubs in Australia with an outlook like this, I wouldn't think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody awesome. I dare you to cross over that. Yeah, go. What do you think? The GoPro. Yeah, 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 no worries at all. You'll have a, a whole heap of hits <laughs> for that. <laughs> Ain't happening. You'll go viral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't happening. No, you're good, mate. You're good. So we're just here with Mike at the Blue Duck Inn, which is we're just coming for lunch and honestly it was fantastic. I had a steak sandwich, one of the best steak sandwiches I've ever had. The others had steak and Guinness pie and apparently they cooked the Guinness pie for eight hours. We do, yes. Um, and uh, the food was sensational. It's the first time I've been through here. Um, so how long has the pub been going? The hotel itself was moved here from Omeo in about 1895. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And how long have you been here? 13 years. 13 years, yeah. And you opened seven days or? No, sometimes during school holidays, long weekends, yep. we open seven days. Yep. Sometimes during a week I go to Albury to get supplies. So yeah, yeah. And we're right here on the banks of the... Bunga River. Bunga River. If you ever get a chance to come here through here, guys, go and have a look. It is the most peaceful, beautiful spot to sit. There's lawns outside, as you would have already seen, um, and it's just a sensational spot. I know um, there was all sorts of stuff on the menu. I saw steak and Guinness pie, I saw schnitzels, I saw... Uh, uh, Palmers. Palmers um, we do home. We do our own pumpkin soup. Yep. Tatum's king soup. Yep. Pies. We make them. Uh, okay. And we do trout. Trout. Smoke trout. Yep. Yes. So there you go, guys. If you're coming through, this is on the road from uh, Omeo to Mitter. If you get a chance to come down and have a look, come and say hi to Mike. Uh, I can highly recommend it. Great place. Awesome looking venue. Come and check out the Blue Duck Inn. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. So, verdict on the Blue Duck Inn. Beautiful. Make sure you have the pie. <laughs> Beautiful. Make sure you have the Guinness pie. Beautiful. Make sure you have the pie. <laughs> verdict on the Blue Duck Inn. Palmer. I'm loving your vlogs, mate. They're oh, very thanks, good. mate. Thanks very, very much. Very funny. What, what was your name? Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. Andrew. Yeah, you as well. No, they're good. Oh, good. Yeah. Up, up for the weekend as well? Yeah, we're heading up to up the falls at the moment. Yep. We collect Melbourne yesterday up the falls and uh, ride around there tomorrow and then back to Melbourne on Monday. Beautiful. Yeah, we, we come up over, uh, up through uh, Hotham. Yep. Then into Omeo, then back then on the way to Midder. We come up with our mate Hoggy over here. How are you, mate? And uh, he lives at Myrtleford. That good. And so he's shown us all the all the spots. But how good is this place? No, it's great. That's no, good. We stayed here a couple of years ago in the accommodation. It's yep. worth it's worth having a weekend in. Yeah, well mate, great to meet you. Yeah, you as well, mate. Keep it up. Yeah, no worries at all. <laughs> Thank you to everybody. Anybody ever wants to come and say hi, I'm happy to come and say hi to anybody. So uh it won't cost you much. Yeah. <laughs> Leave the money in the, <laughs> the box there. It's his secretary. <laughs> so You're now verdict on the blue duck in. I had a chicken parma with fang. Yes, oh, I know. For the first time ever. Actually, everybody finished everything. Yes. Completely. Yeah, but I always finish everything. Yeah. I always finish everything. <laughs> he, he would eat shit on a stick and still yeah. finish it. So I'm not even going to ask him what it was like. Hoggy, ah. verdict? Oh, Hoggy's too busy talking. Beef and Guinness. But beef and Guinness pie. Beef and Guinness pie. And they slow cook it for eight hours. Get your ass down here. Get off the couch and come and have a look because it was fantastic. On to the next place. We're off to Mitter. Let's go. In case you haven't figured it out yet, this is ridiculously pretty country. And I just copped a bug in the head. Ouch. Guys, we're still going on this road from uh, Omeo to Mida. I would love to be able to film the whole thing for you, but it would just take too long. So it's really, you know, it's one of those things you really have to come up and do yourself. And like I keep saying, it doesn't have to be on a bike. Jump in a car, four wheel drive, there's four wheel drive, there's camping, there's fishing. There's all sorts of stuff up here, we've seen heaps of people with caravans and stuff, so you know if you're in a car, just take your time. It's not a you know, it's a good road the whole way. And like I said, I would love to be able to show you the whole thing, but it's just it's so pretty, there's so many things to film, I just don't have the capacity to do it. So really. Oh, I think 
granite flat. So that over there is the old church. So this here, as you can see, there's nothing here now, used to have 500 people here back in the gold rush. Look at all the old trees. And this, yeah. this, this building here, the old church, I'll take it, I'll show you a photo in a sec, but it used to have wisteria all growing around it. It was a, back then it was called Snowy, Snowy Creek. Um, that's the old thing there. Tells you all about it. So it opened in 1873 with 28 pupils. And it was run by uh, Annie McCann. And uh, that's all that remains now. But um, yeah, all these places like this, you know, you used to have a lot of people that, you know, as the gold ran out and things changed, uh, people moved away. But um, you still got the remnants here, which there's an old cemetery up the top there too. Which they still use. Which they still use, okay top of the hill up there so that old cemetery up there is still uh, still being used now unreal so we're mid a mid have a look at this time to make someone smile. We'll catch you next time on the Harley Roadshow. See you then.